Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram, Collie Center here. Today, we're gonna be needing our single stick, and I got some stick locks that I'm gonna train with you. And the reason why I can do it is because, look, I'm not by myself today. I got my man, Will. We're gonna be training together. Let's get to these awesome, gnarly, brutal Collie stick locks. Let's do it. All right, so for today's training, you can take these techniques and just train them as what we call like naked techniques where you know someone can give you a feed and then you can go into the locks right from the feed. However, what we wanna to do to maximize our training and to maximize downloading these techniques, these skills into our computer system here, into our hard drive, is we wanna take our training into a flow drill. So we're gonna be using a drill that is commonly called Hubud or Hubud Lubud or He Got Hubud Lubud, which means to tie and untie. So from here, if you haven't seen this Hubud drill before, I've taught it, taught it a few times before on the YouTube channel, so I'll go over it really quickly here. We're gonna be taking a look at the angle one. On Hubud, for the angle one, we're looking at smashing the opponent close quarter with the puño right here. And so I'm gonna stop his attack by using my left form. Notice that my right hand comes underneath my left armpit. I gotta step off the side, clear his weapon, and then I'm going to trap his weapon right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and attack Will with my number one puño shot. He's gonna do the exact same thing. He's gonna stop it with the middle of his form of his left hand, and then he's gonna clear it with his right hand and then trap it down. All right, sometimes you're in the palm up trap and other times you can go in the palm down trap, which you would be pinning it like all the way to the body or anything like that. And then we continue the drill. So it's stop it, clear it, catch it. Stop it, clear it, catch it. So stop, clear, catch. Stop, clear, catch. Work that out. Right, if you uh, have a training partner, if you don't have a training partner, then see if you can get like the wife or the husband to train with you. You can see if you can get one of the kids or something like that to work out with you or cousin, anybody. Just share some Kali time together because it's good for everybody. It's a lot of fun. It's great exercise. And uh, it's a bonding moment when you're causing each other a lot of pain. All right, so from here, we have the flow drill right here. Basic angle one hoobud. The first lock that we're gonna look at, he's gonna strike his one, I'm gonna stop it. Instead of raising this, I'm gonna smash his forearm with my weapon right here, with my stick, and as I do that, I'm going to catch it with my other hand. Now, I'm gonna pinch his forearm between my forearm and my stick. I'm gonna bring my right hand all the way to my elbow or preferably underneath my armpit. And right away, obviously for training, we just tap that, so then he's telling me when to stop because it just hurts. So we can continue this, boom, boom, just flow it out, stop the strike, smash the form, grab the stick, and then squeeze that form lock right there. It's pretty painful. And uh, you can do this. I don't have my training bolo with me right now, but you can do this with a, with a live, with a real sword you would be flipping the blade edge onto the opponent and then you'd be grabbing, hooking the spine of the blade and then be doing that with a real blade. But you can do this with a stick. Go from here, boom, boom, one more time, nice and slow. I stop it, I smash it, and then I lock it down, All right? That's our first lock on the form lock. Let's take a look at lock number two where we're gonna go ahead and triangle choke the neck. All right, from here, we're going into the drill. Boom. I'll show you this one from a few different angles. As I clear this, I'm gonna trap it down, palm up, and then I'm gonna bang this right up against his neck. I'm gonna step all the way to the inside, looking to pin his hand right here. I'm gonna show you from another angle. And then I can grab my stick on the other side, and it goes in very, very quickly. So let me go ahead and show you this position right here. This is the position that we want to be in. We can go directly into the lock. Be careful with it because it is a blood lock. Or we can take this into the throw and we can throw him off the cliff. All right, let me show you this one from another angle. All right, so from here, 
Boom, let's go nice and slow here so we can break it down. As I go in, I'm gonna trap it palm down. I'm gonna smash this, my weapon, right into his neck. All right? As I turn this, I'm going to use my body and I'm gonna bring his weapon and pin his weapon at the same time that I step through for this lock. Bring it around just a little bit, right there. That way I have his weapon in control. It's kind of in that position, like if you train kettlebells where you have a kettlebell clean, right? You get, how much movement and stuff do you have with your weapon right now? None. None. I have to like reach and grab with my left hand and that's yeah. impossible. And by the time he does that, he's gonna be choked out <sighs> or thrown all the way. So a big thing about this lock right here, a lot of times when I see it being trained or being performed, is that people do not lock up that other weapon. And what happens is people end up kind of like doing something like this, and then they go and they get it, exactly, and then this person can, you know, they start bashing your kneecap in or thrusting you or what with their weapon. So you want to train it in a way where you're isolating that weapon. So from here, boom, let's go ahead and turn it right here. All right, I'm going to trap it down, shoot this thing in. This is all one aggressive motion. I'm going to shoot it in as I step around and pin that arm up and bring him down into the lock. All right, so if you don't catch the neck, sometimes you catch the jawline, it's still gonna work beautifully on this lock number two, the triangle choke with the collie stick. All right, lock number three. We did a forearm lock. We did a neck lock. Let's take a look at the body lock on this time. There's two variations of the body lock. As we're going through the hoobud flow, right here, I'm gonna pass this up. In reality, you're looking to smash him right across the head right there, and then you're gonna come through and you're gonna basically hug him. And sometimes, variation number one is that you get this arm as well, you get the left arm as well. And you basically will hug him all the way, and you can use that weapon all the way in. The nice thing about this body lock is that it puts you in positions for a lot of good throws and all kinds of things. The second variation of this is sometimes you do not get the left arm. So as we're going through the drill, blowing it out on the hoobud, and I'm coming through, sometimes his left arm ends up raising up or what, and then you just get the body right here. You want the arm if you can get it, but if you can't get it, the nice thing is that you have the floating rib right here. You don't want to be too high up. You want to be low on that floating rib. How's that? It's good. Feels pretty good. <laughs> Feels right? good. All right, let's show that one again with both variations. So we're here, moving into the body lock. First variation is I get the arm. You gotta make sure that you trap this weapon though, and then you get the arm. So it's not gonna cause as much pain unless you really get that elbow, mm. right? Because if you're up here, it's not gonna hurt as much. Yeah, it doesn't hurt as bad. Okay? But either way, you are in position for good takedowns and good follow-up movements all through here, all into the Dumog, which is the grappling skills and throwing skills of Kali. And then that second variation again is under the arm. Sometimes what happens is they end up just kind of reacting because you hit them right here, their left arm goes up or whatever, and then you get that, that rib right here. Go ahead and take the rib, and then you can dump them or whatever you kind of throws or anything that you want to go into. All right, those are the three basic stick locks I want to share with you today. Let's recap this really, really quick, all right, each one. So let's come on this side. Number one is the forearm lock. So as we're flowing the drill, you stop it, you whack it, you catch it, and then you pinch it. Boom, right there, all right? It's very painful. <laughs> then we go into lock number two, which is the neck lock. We smash them in. Don't forget to secure this arm. Reach around as you're coming all the way through and put them in the neck lock. You can throw him, you can do all kinds of things with that. And then lock number three is the body lock. From here, boom, boom, bring it around, shoot it across, and now you have him in the body lock. And again, you can take him down, you can hit him, you can come back around. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can move from the body lock, smash him, come back into a neck lock, bring this around. You got all kinds of really great locks that you can go into or just go for the kill all right all right so those are three locks taking it out of the hoobud flow you can work these if you know the sombrata flow if you know 
you know, a BC Dario, any kind of collie drill that you know, you can work these locks, these techniques, right out of any of those drills. So Hoobud is just one option to work out of flow and you're working a different range. You're working that extreme close quarter range. So take your time with these locks. Be careful with these locks, especially on the neck lock because you can do some serious damage to your training partner. So be careful with that. Um, and just go have fun with it and go explore them. And then you can start branching off and seeing what other kind of options and variations that you can play with off of them. So thank Will in the comments below for uh, helping out in this video today. We're out here, we're getting our training in. So we're gonna, we're hiking out. We're gonna go do our training. So get outside into amazing natural places like this to train. It's gonna help increase your collie. It's gonna help form your attributes and build coordination and all those physical performance requirements. But training out here in nature, it also does something about developing that mindset, that mindset that you can overcome things, you can overcome challenges and all those types of things in your life, in your training. So get on outside, go train. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Just hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already because this is a perfect time to do it. And then smash that thumbs up button if you enjoy these locks. And uh, if you've ever felt these locks before, tell me about your experience in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. If you want more exclusive training with us right here on the YouTube channel, click the join button right below this video and you can consider becoming a sponsor of the channel and get access to our members only area right here on the Kali Center YouTube channel where you have extra perks as a sponsor to the channel and you also get access to exclusive training videos that is not shared anywhere else except for in our members area. So check that all out and uh, just click the join button right below and if it's something for you, I'll be happy to see you on the inside for some more training. As always, to take your Kali to the next level, if you wanna train with us here at Kali Center, head over to KaliCenter.com and check out our further training programs, courses, DVD downloads, and we also have our brand new apparel store that is also open, so you can go grab all kinds of really cool Kali Center merch. All right, we'll see you back here next time. Get out there, go train, and have fun.